Welcome to On This Day, where we explore the impactful moments that occurred on August 11th throughout history. August 11, 1929. The baseball world stood still as Babe Ruth geared up for an iconic swing. With the tension palpable, Ruth faced off against Willis Hudlin. The pitch, the swing, and there it went. His 500th home run, soaring across Lee Park. This wasn't just another hit. Ruth became the first MLB player to reach this milestone, etching his legacy deeper into baseball's history. From then till now, Ruth's spirit ignites passion in every young player, dreaming to leave a mark just as the Sultan of Swat did. August 11, 1934, Alcatraz Island, once a military prison, opens its doors to house America's most dangerous civilian prisoners. Born as a seabird haven, explored by Spanish Lieutenant Juan Manuel de Ayala, it was named Island of the Pelicans. Later, fortified and turned into a U.S. military prison, it held soldiers, rebellious Indian scouts, and even Chinese civilians. 1934 marked its transformation into a high-security federal prison. Infamous inmates like Al Capone and George Machine Gun Kelly were housed here, cementing Alcatraz's fearsome reputation. Despite numerous escape attempts, Alcatraz remained escape-proof. Today, it stands not as a symbol of confinement but as a testament to history, drawing over a million visitors each year. August 11, 1942, amidst the glitz of Hollywood, actress Hedy Lamarr and musician George Antile made tech history. Beyond their entertainment careers, they innovated. They patented a frequency-hopping communication system, a method to jump between radio frequencies, preventing interceptions. Their invention? It paved the way for today's Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and wireless phones. An actress and a musician, unlikely pioneers of our digital age. A reminder that inspiration can come from the most unexpected places, changing our world forever. August 11, 1965. What began as a routine traffic stop in Los Angeles spiraled into the infamous Watts riots. Market Fry, accused of drunk driving, was arrested, but rumors and harsh police actions ignited a powder keg of long-standing racial frustrations. For six days, Lo witnessed chaos, cries for justice, and the community's plea for equality. This unrest reshaped civil rights dialogues nationwide. Today, Watt stands resilient, bearing lessons from the past, forging ahead toward a harmonious future. August 11, 1973. A pulsating beat takes over the Bronx's 1520 Sedwick Avenue, marking the inception of a musical titan, hip-hop. Deeply influenced by Jamaican selectors, DJ Cool Herc, Warren Clive Campbell, began his experimentation in the Bronx. That night, at his sister's birthday, Herc didn't rap but unveiled the groundbreaking break beat, elongating the drum segments that crowds adored. This wasn't just a party, it was the dawn of a new era. Herc's break beat was the catalyst, setting hip-hop on its trajectory to global dominance. From that Bronx apartment to worldwide stages, hip-hop's essence remains, all thanks to a summer night in 1973 and the genius of DJ Cool Herc. Thanks for joining us on this journey through history. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more daily historical adventures.